Now, so you asked about the different types of resumes. There are two basic types of resumes that we use here. One is called chronological and the other is called functional. And we also see some different styles, but those would depend on the profession. They're profession specific and those would include academics and they have a thing called a curriculum vitae, which can be quite long by the way. It includes a lot more information. And also attorneys have a slightly different format for resumes as well. But let's talk about a chronological and a functional resume. A chronological resume is assumed to be also reverse chronological. So what that means is you give your work history with your most recent job at the beginning of the resume, usually the first thing underneath a summary paragraph about yourself and obviously underneath your contact information, name, address, telephone number, and email. And starting again with your most recent job, and you can, job that you're still in or no longer with, and some description of your duties and responsibilities within that job, and then some specific accomplishments within that job. Going backwards in time, back to your education. Obviously some folks, you'll always see some variations on that theme. Some folks have taken time off to go back to graduate school or finish a degree or, or whatever. So if that's the case, just keep a consistent timeline going backwards, chronologically of course, until you get back to your college, generally. If you're a high school grad, then you get back to your high school grad. What resume readers are looking for is a continuous line of what you have done in those intervening years. Now the other kind of resume is a functional resume, which doesn't start with the specific companies at which you worked, but it talks more about your specific skills. And that's the kind of resume that folks are using when they're changing careers, or if you're a homemaker who's going back to work, say after raising children, or something like that. And in that case, again, it's a summary and then a highlight of your specific skills, talents, and abilities. And then underneath that, in very brief and cursory form, where you've done those. It could be just one line per company. And then underneath that, education in a similar fashion is what we talked about with the chronological resume. So those are the two basic kinds of resumes. Again, a chronological or reverse chronological resume and a functional resume. And that's what we mainly see here in the United States these days.